The fourth bridge is one of the most famous structures, not just in Scotland, but anywhere in the world. Billy Connolly once said that just looking at it made him feel proud, and he's not alone. England's got the Tower Bridge, France has the Eiffel Tower, but we've got the fourth bridge, and it's been here since 1890. In well over a century, it's never had its own visitor centre dedicated to it, but things may be about to change. Recently, I spent some time at the bridge with Craig Bowman, Senior Communications Manager at Network Rail Scotland, and he told me about the exciting plans to give people the chance to get right to the heart of this amazing structure. Well, Craig, what a beautiful site this is here at Forth Bridge, and of course it's the jewel and the crown, really, of Network Rail. Yeah, absolutely. It's Scotland's best landmark probably the finest railway bridge in the world. Uh, still carries over 200 trains a day and you know from our perspective uh, we couldn't have a, a better uh, icon for Scotland's railways and Britain's railways. And the people back there knew how to build? They certainly did. It's 125 years old next year. It's just gone through a, a 10 year refurb which was mainly about the coating system and the paint job uh, but the, the steel work itself was in great condition. It was only minor repairs required. Now you mentioned 125 year anniversary, 1890 it was built of course uh, all those years ago. Very soon though people as well as driving over it in the train will be able to actually go on it. Tell us about that, it's very exciting. Well certainly um, we've, we've got some proposals that we're taking forward at present. Uh, at the moment they are very much just proposals, we haven't taken them through planning process yet but certainly over the next uh, 6 to 12 months we, we aim to, to develop the proposals further so the we have designs that we can take to, to the councils for, for planning. Um, we don't want to turn it into overly commercial. Um, we want it to be remain a, a, a place that people love. You know, the, the part of the experience is, you know, the village itself and both South and North Queensferry. So, you know, we, we need to be sensitive to that. Um, so, it's not it's not going to be Disneyland. It will be a, a very um, you know high class attraction and, and something uh, that we hope will be a, you know, popular for Scotland, but popular for Scottish people as well as for visitors to Scotland. People have been crossing this bridge by rail since 1890, but soon they'll be able to go on it themselves. As the only location where the main bridge structure can be accessed by land, North Queen's Ferry is the obvious choice for a fully accessible visitor centre. This proposal would see a discrete building created under the North Tower. An attractive shoreside walk would welcome visitors to a world-class facility that leaves no impact on the well-loved view of the bridge. With a glazed ceiling allowing visitors to experience the cathedral-like scale of this awe-inspiring structure, the centre would have ample room for eating, drinking and shopping, as well as one-off functions and events. From the main building, visitors will be guided up a step-free ramp through an educational and informative exhibition space to our lift access. Open to the elements, it will carry up to 15 people at a time on the three to four minute journey to our platform, 110 meters above sea level. The platform will provide the maximum wow factor with minimum impact on the profile of the bridge. Visitors will get the chance to enjoy views stretching from East Lothian to Ben Lomond. It would be open most days of the year and exposed to every kind of weather that the Scottish climate can offer, making every visit a unique experience. With regular passenger services and a short transfer time, we will work with train operators to ensure that visitors can make the most of this service to see the bridge in all its glory. On the South Queen's Ferry side, we imagine a more challenging visitor experience. In this concept, we propose a smaller hub to coordinate walks on the bridge. Entirely pre-booked, bridge walks would involve provision of safety gear and guided tours by specially trained leaders. In groups of up to 15 people, you will access the bridge up a slope, providing a taster for the later climb. From here, you will walk out along the approach span using a pre-existing walkway under the track. Once over the water, the real climb begins, with groups making their way to the top of the South Tower. Daring explorers can then take in the view before heading back to the comfort of the South Queensferry hub. 
Now, as a person who works for Network Rail and, of course, uh, as a Scotsman himself, looking up at that structure, what does, it, what does it do to you? Well, I'll tell you what, it's better than sitting in an office, I can tell you that. It's great. I mean, this, this is the best part of my job coming out here uh, on a regular basis and, um, you know, I'm very proud to, to have, you know, I live in the area um, or close by. My, my, um, my father and my grandfather have worked in the area. Um, and you know, just to think that they they all saw this and, and felt the same pride as I do, and now to have a chance to work in it well, uh, as I do, um, you know, it's can't think of a better job personally. Well, I'm very excited to be uh, climbing up to the top. Tell us what's going to happen today. Uh, we'll be accessing the the bridge by hoist, which is just on the, the eastern face of the, the North Tower. It takes about three or four minutes to to reach the top, uh, where we have a scaffolding platform. Um, it's a temporary platform. Um, but it allows you to, to see great views from right over to East Lothian up to Ben Lomond. Uh, it you, gives you a real sense of the scale of the bridge, the incredible achievement of the, the engineers and the, the men who worked on it uh, and for the, the vision that they had to, to create such a magnificent structure. So it's a pretty rare um, rare opportunity. We've only probably had about a thousand people up there over the, over the course of uh, the, the restoration period. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and um, you know, our other visitors do as well. Well, I have to say, I've waited 53 years for this. Standing on the top of the fourth rail bridge, an absolutely extraordinary experience and a view that is second to none.